I'm here to see some kung fu. Some really good kung fu. And Colin plays the best kung fu. Colin brings them to a nice theater, comfy chairs, cheap popcorn, big screen. Uh, it's it's awesome. The crowd looks good. I haven't uh, stepped outside to have a, a gander yet, but uh, I think it'll go well. About 15 years ago, there were about four Chinese cinemas in downtown Toronto, but they're all closed now. And uh, this is a very rare opportunity to, to get to see these films. Oh, wow. ah, ah, ah. They don't make them like that anymore. A lot of people are like, oh, kung fu films is just about, oh, year after, like, I'm getting revenge from my master because you killed this person. No, it's more than that. The, the great kick that I have out of showing these films, especially if I show them to dance students or, or, or modern dancers, because they always kind of like, you know, artsy look down on these films, but then they look at these films and see what the people are doing on camera with one take. It's amazing. They're coming to the movie. They're coming to the movie. Bums and seats. It's good. They're going to enjoy it. We're in the basement of the Royal Cinema in Toronto. This is the dank, dark cinematic vault that uh, houses my collection. And in here, this is where I keep all my good prints. When I got this batch particularly, I walked by this very theater. It was a Chinese theater and it had been closed for around a year and I saw all these boxes in through the window. I phoned up the real estate agent and I was like, well, what are you going to do with those posters? Oh, those are just going to go in the garbage. I'm like, they're just full of old posters, you know? I'm like, exactly. These are all trailers. What will the audience be in for tonight? They Came From Within, a.k.a. Shivers by David Cronenberg. That's a good one. So uh, stay in your seats, watch the trailers, and we'll be back in a couple minutes for the raffle. Enjoy! If this picture doesn't make you scream and squirm, you'd better see a psychiatrist. I'm going to put up a poster for tonight's film so people can see what the original poster looked like. When I was in public school, I was being picked on by a bully. And so my dad and I decided to take uh, martial art together. We took judo together. And my dad took me to go see Enter the Dragon when it was released with Jackie Chan's Big Brawl, his first American film. That was a very influential, pivotal moment in my life. The bully later stopped picking on me because he actually kind of developed a crush on my sister, but I don't think we should talk about that now. The classic action film with Andy Lau, Last Blood. I send out an email to 500 people telling them about the screening. I run around the streets, postering. Six, eight, five. The day of the show, I just kind of have to sit back and see what happens. Mice, chew through that. These are incomplete reels that I've found. You're missing the beginning, you're missing the end. The ones in the garbage bags, these are all melodramas and romantic comedies. No one's going to come out and see our favorite, The Sausage Chase. <laughs> Oh, this is a doozy. Playboy Doctor. When I get a new batch of posters that I've found in the garbage, I go through them and I take a pristine copy of one poster for myself and then a complete set of lobby cards. So that's my private archive. And then the multiples and the extras, I give away as prizes at the movie uh, screenings that I do. And if they're of interest or a particular note, I'll pop them up on eBay and uh, see what I can get. In rare cases, 40 to $60 US. Five, eight, zero. Congratulations! This cinema means a lot to me. It originally was an Italian cinema. It used to be a vaudeville cinema. And then during the, uh, the 1980s, it was known as the Golden Princess, showing Hong Kong and Chinese cinema. I want to be your man. I'd bring my friends. And of course, we were the only white people in the cinema. It was a bit of a taboo. You were the minority, but we were able to discover uh, a secret cinema. Thank you very much for coming on out for uh, Kung Fu Fridays, and enjoy this rare screening of Prodigal Son. I'm kind of a librarian of Hong Kong and Asian film knowledge and memorabilia. No one really comes out and says that I'm a, a rice king or, a, or an egg. White on the outside, yellow on the inside. It's a strange cultural obsession. I applaud Kung Fu Fridays, or actually, I chop Kung Fu Fridays. Oh, yeah.